Hi everyone, peace to you. I'm sitting uh, still very close to the Jekania Square, but here it's Jesuit Street. In the past it was known as John Street because of the Ar Archid Cathedral of San John, and uh, or, or it was called Zamkova, so it's the Castle Street. Um, during the times, uh, firstly it was belonging to the um, people uh, for the bishop for Pozn uh, from um, Poznań, so one of the cities on the west part of Poland. Um, and afterwards, and this area um, was taken by the Jesuits. The first Jesuits came with Stanisław Hozysz, very important person for the reformation of Polish education and impact on the country reformation within Poland. So he came uh, and he put the uh, set, actually settled down the Jesuits um, here in Poland, but in the two different places. Uh, on one place it was Sanatowska Street, and they were living there. And also on this um, Jesuit street, they have firstly built, built the monastery. Then they built it uh, with the support of Piotr Skarga, very well known and very important Jesuit. They built it. Uh, they built here also um, the church, which we have known, Matki Bożej Łaskawej. And he also created the uh, gymnasium called Gymnasium Zalastianum, very important. Because if we consider what was the impact of Jesuits here in Poland, it was the um, understanding deeply the values of Christianity, if we consider the perspective of the Catholics. And they also put the very big effort on education and this education was very important because those two mm, mm, like monasteries firstly it was the mm, Jesuits and the second one is the Pias the, the one of those one on the Miodowa street and the second one on, was here on Jesuit street and also on the Sanatowska street they were together uh, cooperating to put uh, the mm, highest level education on the, on the people not only on the noble people so mm, they were very important if you consider uh, um, education level within Poland so if you are coming on this street it's deeply connected with the impact of Jesuits and Piotr Skarga, the very important uh, priest if you consider the history, but he was living probably on the corner of the building near to the um, square of the old town. But what's more, on this street also, I will show you the small, um, um, let's say, board on, on which is written that on this building, because after the Jesuit was um, was closed, because the um, people who was ruling Poland, they were not Poles, but they didn't want to see Jesuits, so they closed this uh, monastery. And in this place was some administration offices, and uh, after the Second World War, it was rebuilt, and there, here you had the, um, let's say, civilian uh, militia, so it was the Soviet kind of police that was fighting with the independence movement and one of the people who was killed and imprisoned it was the um uh, his name was um, Grzegorz Przemyk. He was a uh, son of the very well-known Polish poem writer, Barbara Sadowska. She was working for the independency. Um, um, so the communists said that they wanted to punish her, punishing his son, and they punched this son after the, um, um, the major exam in Polish. It's called Matura. They, so they imprisoned this, uh, this uh, young guy. He was 19. It was 1983. Uh, they punished him um, per, uh, very deeply so he had some problems with the stomach when he came back and he was um, he let they let them uh, let him go to the home so he came back and after two days he was dead because of the fact that uh, he had some problems after this beating of the uh, civilian militia this communist civilian militia so uh, his burial uh, was very important if you consider the anti-communistic movement within Warsaw and it was some kind of showing that um, that um, all of the this, the people who were communists were fighting with the independency using brutal power and, and during the ceremony of his burial it was some kind of showing that the independence can be done but this is also the sacrifice and it shouldn't be any sacrifices like this which were seen on this street which was made by um, civilian militia but all the highest level of the uh, Polish um, like the Polish communistic um, generals the set this was called General Kiszczak General Kiszczak it was very bad guy so he also wanted to put the um responsibility for this uh, for this killing not to his own militia but to the nurseries and doctors who were trying to help this guy so if you are coming on this street we not only should remember about the Jesuits but also about the um, fighting against uh, communism against against um, what was uh, known as the um, like Sir, um, Republic of Poland but communistic Republic of Poland so those days the, and this guy this Przemek, Przemek was also 
also fighting it against them and you will see it on this short video I will make it soon and I will show you uh, right now. So if you got the opportunity you just you should come exactly on the street remembering about these two very important facts. So peace to you and have a good day and hope that you will have the opportunity to come exactly on the street near to the um, old city uh, and the square of the old city uh, and the square of the city and the market then the main part of the city that is very well known but this street is not that well known but it should be also so peace to you and have a good day bye